everyone and welcome to the first part of the single line diagram. Starting from this video, I will cover the single line diagram topic and will show you how we can interpret and design a single line diagram using AutoCAD. In the beginning, let's understand what is a single line diagram. In simple words, it is a diagram that represents all electrical elements that includes the transformer, circuit breakers, cables, distribution boards, capacitors, and bus bars as schematic symbols. It actually shows the flow of power in an electrical system. Putting that in a nutshell, single line diagram of a project represents all the electrical information we need. It also may include all calculations such as short circuit, voltage drops, length and sizes of cables, and also types and sizes of circuit breakers. We should start designing the single line diagram right after we calculate all the demand and total connected loads of each DB and SMDB for the entire project. And that will mainly happen at the last stages of your design. Now let's have a look at this single line diagram of one of the complex projects. Since this course covers the low voltage part of the system, I will interpret single line diagram starting from the step down transformer over here that transforms medium voltage to low voltage specifically which transforms 11,000 or 11 kilovolts to 415 volts that we require for our loads what is before this transformer is a transmission connection from the highest voltage way down to the lowest voltage so to interpret this single line diagram we should have a basic idea of the transmission of power from high voltage reaching this low voltage transformer. To understand this more, let's have a look at this diagram over here. This diagram explains the transmission of electricity from the generating station to the distribution part of the system. Our main focus on this course will be on this distribution part of the system. But it is always better to understand how electricity is generated and delivered to this distribution part. So, first of all, electricity is generated in power stations using different sources like nuclear or hydropower, natural gas, wind turbines, or it may be solar energy, which produces a power of 11 12 or 13 kilovolts, which is then stepped up to 220 or 500 kilovolts using the step up transformer. Right after this transformer, this amount of high voltage is transmitted using these transmission towers, which you will mainly see outside the cities. Consequently, this amount of high voltage is then stepped down to 132 or 66 kilovolts. Then after that, we can have another transformer over here to step down this 66 kilovolts to 11 kilovolts. Right after the 11 kilovolts transformer, the consumer can install the step down transformer that transforms the 11 kilovolts to 400 volts for a three phase system and 230 volts for single phase, which is suitable to be used for our devices and appliances. The main point that I want to reach here is that for our projects, we deal with the distribution part of this system, which what we use in our homes. And as I mentioned earlier, this transformer over here may be provided by the main utility if you need power for your residential place. Otherwise, for big projects, the utility will not provide this transformer. As a result, we should size it and include it in our design, which of course should be also reflected in our single line diagram. Now let's get back to our single line diagram. Also, I will be explaining how to size a transformer in the next section. Right now, don't bother about how this size or type of this transformer was selected. You will also notice that this transformer is solidly earth. There is an earth conductor that is connected from 
the neutral part of this transformer. The reason for that will also be explained in the earthing system. Now, this single line diagram represents the transformer with this symbol. After the transformer, there are some conductors or cables that connects this transformer to the main DB of this project. These cables are represented with one line, regardless of the number of cables installed between the transformer and the MDB, it should always be represented by a single line. Actually, from the name single line diagram, you understand that you are connecting all symbols with just single lines. So these cables coming from the transformer is connected to the air circuit breaker of the main DB, which is sized 2500 amperes. In fact, this MDB is represented with this rectangular boundary over here. So what is included inside this boundary is also included inside the main DB in reality. So these elements like the molded case circuit breakers, the bus bar, the air circuit breaker and different components are all installed within the main DB. You will also notice that the indicating lamps for the R, Y, and B phases are also represented in this single line diagram. There are some fuses over here and also ammeters and voltmeters are also indicated in this single line diagram. There are also some symbols like the CT, which is an abbreviation for a current transformer that is used inside a main DB to convert very high current like 2500 current to 5 amperes. And we use this current transformer to power up these indicating lamps and small devices that needs very less current inside this main DB. In a nutshell, every single component inside the main DB is represented within this single line diagram. Now let's look at a real picture of an MDB to have a clear idea. So this picture shows a typical MDB shape from the front. You will notice here the three ammeters that we just have seen in the single line diagram. Also the indicating lamps for the three phases, the red, yellow, and blue. And there is also here the voltmeter as well. You will also find the air circuit breaker right below at this part of the main DB. And also the molded case circuit breakers are installed at the right side of this main DB. These molded case circuit breakers are protecting various SMDBs of the project. Now, of course, not every component that we have seen in the single line diagram is visible from outside. Things like the bus bar, current transformers, fuses, and small batteries are all installed within this panel but all are represented in the single line diagram. Let's look at another photo of another main DB. So this main DB is already installed inside. As you can see, the indicating lamps are eliminated. The volt ampere is working and it indicates that the voltage is 415 volts. Reaching this point, we have interpreted the transformer to the main DB part of the single line diagram. I also showed you some photos of real main DBs to make the vision clear for you. In the next video, I will continue interpreting the rest of the system of the single line diagram.